hey guys welcome back to java collections framework series in this video we will cover collection interface so if you look at the collections hierarchy collection interface sits at the top of the collections hierarchy okay and in general collection interface is considered as root interface of the collections hierarchy so collection represents a group of objects called its elements for example let's say we have a collection it has group of objects like object 1 object 2 object 3 and so on so collection represents a group of individual objects as a single entity okay great and when should we go for collection interface so if we want to represent a group of individual objects as a single entity then we should go for collection interface okay so whenever we want to represent a group of individual objects as a single entity then we can go for collection interface all right great and collection interface defines all the common methods that are applicable to all the uh, you know all the co uh, collection classes in the collections hierarchy for example collection interface has all the common methods that are applicable to uh, list queue set dq sorted set and their implementations etc we will deep dive into the collection interface so basically we are going to explore where basically collection interface is present in which package it is present and in which jar file it is present and we'll explore all the methods of collection interface and what are the newly methods are added in java 8 to collection interface okay let's go ahead and let's switch to the eclipse ide so in eclipse ide you first need to install decompiler so we are going to decompile uh, dot class files in eclipse so in order to install decompiler you can go to the help section and go to the eclipse marketplace and in a find you can just search for decompiler okay and hit go button and look at your enhanced class decompiler 3.1.1 so this is the decompiler you can install in your eclipse so i have already installed it that's why I can get this label installed okay once you have installed decompiler successfully in Eclipse we can able to decompile dot class files so let's explore where collection interface present in which package and in which jar file it is present for that so this was the project we have created in previous uh, videos right so this is a JRE system library and i am using java 1.8 so click on expand jre system library and you can see here bunch of jar files and this is the rt.jar file so let's expand this rt rt.jar file inside this jar file you can see a lot of packages okay so let's find java.util package inside this jar file let's scroll down and go to the java.util package okay so collection interface present inside java.util package let's expand java.util package and here we go so this is a collection dot class so this is the interface that we are going to explore so let's double click on it and you can able to see the source code of collection interface okay so if you are installed decompiler successfully in eclipse id then you can able to see the source code of collection interface like this okay so we have seen that collection interface is a root interface in collection hierarchy and collection represents a group of objects known as elements all right so look at here collection interface is a generic interface so you can pass any type to the collection interface and collection interface extends iterable uh, interface so we can use a iterable uh, iterator to iterate over our collections so for that it internally extends iterable interface okay so look at here a collection interface provides a common 
methods or APIs that are applicable to all the collections in collections framework for example size so size method returns a number of elements in the collection and is empty method returns uh, true if the collection contains no elements and contains method returns true if the collection contains any specified element similarly you can use iterator to iterate over a collection of objects and to array method to convert collection into array okay and we can use add method to add a new element to an existing collection and we can remove element from a collection using remove method and we can use add all method to add a collection to the existing collection and we can use a remove all method to remove a collection from existing collection okay so these are the bulk operations or bulk methods okay and apart from that so look at your default method so java 8 onwards we can able to see default and static methods so in java 8 the default methods are added to the collection interface that is remove if method and this method takes predicate function interface okay and we can pass a lambda expression and we can use if remove if method to just add a condition if element is present then only we can remove that element from the collection something like that and you can use retain all clear method equals hash code and splitter so java 8 onwards uh, we can able to use splitter method so java 8 provides a feature like we can add a default and static method right so these are the default methods added in java 8 that is stream parallel stream all right all right guys these are the common methods that are added to collection interface all right this is a pretty much about internal uh, you know source code of collection interface okay let's go ahead and let's understand more about collection interface with an example so jdk uh, you know don't have direct implementation of collection interface but list interface extends collection interface and list interface has uh, multiple implementation classes like array list link list vector and stack so we can use one of the implementation class to create a collection interface object okay let's go ahead and let's use array list class to create object of the collection let me switch to the eclipse id in eclipse we have a java collections framework project and let me create a new package inside this project and let me call it as interfaces and inside this package let me quickly create a class and let's name it as collection demo and also choose public wide main method and hit finish button alright let's go ahead and let's create object of collection collection so make sure that you choose collection from java.util package and let's pass a type as string and let's say collection equals to new and then we can use array list class to create a collection object now we have created a collection object let's go ahead and let's add few elements to the collection for example collection dot add so we can use add api to add a new element to the collection let's say i'm going to add something like let's say banana okay and let's rename this collection like uh, let's say root collection something like that root collection okay let me add one more root to the collection root collection dot call add method and then let's add apple to the collection and let's go ahead and let's add one more 
fruit let's say mango all right so this is how we can use add method to add a new element to the collection now if you want to you know uh, remove any of the element from the collection we can use a remove method so let's go ahead and let's pass a element name to the remove method let's say i want to remove banana from the collection so i can simply call a remove method okay let me put us this out here and let me print this collection and after removing an element from the collection also i will put the sys out so let's go ahead and let's run the program and let's see how it works yeah here we go so this is how we got a result when we add all the new elements to the collection and after that we have removed a banana element from the collection and we have printed the collection and look at here the result banana element is removed from the collection all right guys so let's say i want to check whether a particular element is present in a collection or not for that i'm going to use contains and let me check apple element is present in a collection so contains method uh, returns a boolean value either true or false if this element contains uh, if this element is present in a collection then it returns true otherwise it returns false so let me print the result to the console so that uh, we'll be able to track the result yeah here we go so apple element is present in a collection so contains method returns true and that we have printed on a console all right so let me use few more methods like let's say fruit collection dot so look at here there are a lot of apis so these are the apis or methods which are common for all the collections in collections framework okay and you can see here uh, you can use is empty method to check whether a collection is empty or not and you can use iterator method to iterate over a collections objects and you can use a remove all method to remove a bulk i mean uh, you know a uh, bulk objects and you can use for each method to uh, iterate over a collection so for each method is introduced in java 8 so we can use for each method uh, to iterate over a collection so and for each method accepts uh, lambda expressions uh, implementation so for each method basically uh, i know internally uses a functional interface called consumer so consumer is a functional interface so we have to use a lambda expression to implement a consumer interface okay so let me use a lambda expression here and this accepts a parameter and then arrow syntax and this is this is a sysout here and just print a element to the console it's pretty simple right let me run the program and let's see how it works yeah here we go okay the list has apple and mango elements Alright guys, uh, you can explore all the methods of this collection interface. For example, if you see here, it provides other methods like you can use clear method to clear the collection, it contains all method to check uh, multiple elements are present in a collection or not. You can use iterator to iterate over a collection and you can use a stream uh, method to work with the streams. All right, so there are other APIs uh, you can take these methods as exercise and you can just uh, create an example and uh, play, play with all these methods. Okay, I'm going to call a clear method to clear the collection and after that if I, if I print this collection then there is no more elements present in a collection. Okay, so look at here the collection is empty. Alright guys, let me summarize what we have learned about collection interface. So collection interface is a root interface of the collections hierarchy and whenever uh, we want to represent a group of individual objects as a single unit 
or entity then we can go for collection okay and uh, so collection interface don't have direct implementations but list queue set and other interfaces extends collection interface so we can use uh, their implementation classes to create a collection object like we have seen in example okay great and collection interface provides all the common methods that are applicable to other interfaces that extends uh, collection interface okay thank you guys for watching i will see you in the next video